Hello and welcome to MS DOS Game Reviews where we play some old MS DOS games. So the game for today is called Asylum and uh, was released to MS DOS in 1985. So it's also available on Commodore and you can get a copy from myabandonware.com. Now, on myabandonware.com, there's not much of a review. There's a whole host of screenshots. And that's it. So I went looking on the Internet Archive. And there they have a little bit of a, of a better description, you know, and one review. So this guy, the guy thinks the game is very sassy and killed him a lot. And uh, yeah, so let us see what the game is like. Um... I'm running it in a, uh, a CGA composite mode. So, here we go. You have been committed to the asylum. The late 1970s saw the advent of a new game genre, the computer adventure. As the years went by and the games became more involved, society noted a strange new mental illness. This illness resulted from an inability to distinguish reality from fiction and was directly attributable to a deep involvement in computer adventure gaming. The mental health specialists of the 21st century constructed great mazes populated with cyborg opponents. Into these were thrust the ill to re re-achieve a fiction reality dictomy and this to re-enter society. Ooh, where were we? These mazes were named for the illness Adventure Syndrome leading to ultimate madness Asylum. But sometimes the cure is worse than the illness. So here we are. You can press F1 for the menu and it says resume game. It has a vocabulary which it tells you all the words that the game would actually know. There's some assistance. There's a slideshow. Save a game, restore a game. So let's take a look at the slideshow. Uh, these are no, by no means all the pictures created for these games. Okay, so you can see there's, there's some rooms and uh, yeah, some some people. So this is this is why I chose this this composite mode. The, it actually blurs the images a little bit more and actually makes them worth looking at. So, yeah, interesting stuff. So let's, let's press F1 again. Oh, F1. Right, so here I am. And I can look around with the cursor keys. I can move. Oh, you here. Let me out. I know how you can escape. So that's the door. Open door. Door's locked. or not open. So I have nothing. Now in my open door, there's a room. And there's a box within reach. And in the box there is a credit card. So take credit card. Look. Credit card. Ooh, it looks like a key card. Fantastically. Okay, so let's move. This one, unlock door. Card. Nope, you need a different card. Okay, so let's try this door. Unlock door. All right, so the door is now unlocked. Uh, open door, and we go in. And there's a crazy guy. His hair is wild, and he's quite mad. He tells you, you are in asylum. To leave, you must find the doctor's exit. To get through it, you must look like a doctor. Find a doctor's coat, perhaps a psychiatrist. Good luck. You press any key. So, now, it's just dungeon crawling. So, the graphics are okay. The premise of the story is okay. So, this is... This is where I'm from. Oh. Yeah, this is where I'm from. So, normally if I was playing this game in anger, I'd actually uh, be mapping all the movements so that I have an overview of the 
of the maze. Because I I get lost in this maze pretty quick, man. So walking around the maze and Oh dear. Yeah, so this is definitely designed to confuse you. There's a door. Unlock door. Oh, I'm going to go forward. Press any key. You're in a room with a desk. It is well lighted and the camera watches. Let's look at the desk. Nothing, nothing special. Can't seem to do that. Oh, there's nothing there. Okay. Let's close the door. Right. The reason I'm doing that is I was here before and I had too many doors open and uh, got killed. Alright. That door. So. Silver guard. Haha. Take. Credit card and look so hard. See nothing special. Okay. Close the door. Unlock the door. Oh, stethoscope. Use room. Unlock door. God. And I enter, and I see a little fuse box. Uh, look, box. Look, fuse box. I use a circus. Okay, so uh, we'll just close the door again. And uh, yeah, unlock the store as well with the card. Unlock the door with the card. Beam back. Okay, so I have a bunch of stuff. It's a bird costume. What the hell? Take bird costume. Okay. Alright. Now we leave and close the door. Okay. So, the maze continues. There's a nice little long hallway. There's a long hallway going the other way. Okay, so. 
Yeah, the, the maze is kind of tricky to navigate. Hmm. What is this? Ah! Unlock door with card. Unlock door with silver. No, that doesn't work. Hmm. Okay. They so can't kick open doors or anything. And by now I am completely lost. I have lost track of where I am. Which I suppose is the charm of this game. So yeah, like I said. Oh, image process was okay, we'll just turn to the right and to the left, she's gone. So yeah, uh, all my doors. So yeah, that's at least one place I recognize. Yeah, long hallway. So, asylum. Now I'm obviously not gonna spend the long, long time it takes to uh, to to get through this. Like I said, I'd, I'd be mapping this thing, you know, and attacking it scientifically, trying to get through the game, uh, you know, because these walls are just so repetitive. But uh, yeah, it looks like a looks like a good game to play, and nice, nice and and involved, you know, something you can sink your teeth into, get lost in for a few hours. So uh, a pretty good game. It's got a nice. Uh, uh, nice in, uh, interface. You know, it looks like very, very well polished. I mean, this is 1985. This is this is amazing when you look at the sort of things. But I'm gonna quit the salon for now. And oh, that's that. You weren't sane or insane enough to escape the salon. This is the author. He could give you the option of playing again. You wish to play again. I'm gonna say no. And exit. Well, thank you very much for watching this video, and we'll see each other next time. Goodbye.